Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. You're probably wondering what the heck is that square doing on the wall back there? Uh, well, that, what, what, that, what that square is all about is we're actually going to cut that wall out and we're going to put a window in a wall that was never there before. So that's where we're going to have the window placed. So uh, let's mark it out on the inside. We're going to cut it then we're going to go on the outside. We'll cut the outside and we'll install that new window so we get more light in this room. All right, so enough talking. Let's get out there and let's start and hopefully get this job finished today. Okay, so this is looking at it from the outside where we're going to come in here and we're going to cut through the siding right here. We'll cut through the siding and then we'll box it all out and uh, we'll install that window from the outside and again it'll have the molding around the outside so it'll look like a nice finished piece that looks like it's been there forever. All right, let's grab some tools. Now let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to mark on the wall exactly where the window is going to go before we cut the window opening out. Now I just want to point this out to you. The, the wall that we're putting this in is actually is made of paneling. This paneling is going to be replaced with drywall. But we're going to cut this out now and get the window installed before we put the drywall on. Alright, so let me show you what the window looks like and then we're going to get started. This is what the window itself looks like. You can see the dimensions right here. It's actually just 24 by 24. You can see it has the nailing flange around the outside of it, which is how we're going to secure it into the opening once we cut the opening from the outside as well. But we're going to put it over on the, uh, on the wall exactly where we want it. And then uh, we're going to cut down the, the paneling so we can gain access to see what's inside. Now, as you can see, once we cut it open, we find that there's two studs inside the wall. Now, that does create a little bit of a problem because you can't just cut it out. You can't just cut the studs out and dispose of them. You need to get in there and you need to create a header above the, the window because that's what holds the weight of the roof and everything on that one wall. So taking out two studs is never an acceptable way to do anything. So we're going to come in here. We're going to um, go from the outside. We're going to cut the outside so we can gain access in to slide the stud down to the, uh, to, the, to the bottom of the floor itself so we can create the header. What we're going to do is we're going to make a header from the outside and we're going to slide it in from the outside and then we'll put the two uh, studs on the side of it to support that header up into the existing opening. Alright, so uh, let's get outside. Let's take a look at it from the outside and then we'll continue out there. But we're going to take off the siding so we can gain access to the wall itself to make the cuts. Now as you can see right here, we did go in there and we removed the siding to gain access to it. Removing the siding is really not that difficult. Basically what you're doing is you're starting up on the top, you pull your top piece out. Once you pull the top piece out, you get up underneath and you take the, the siding and you just push it down and the siding actually locks together. So you have to remove the nails up on the top so that we could pull the siding down and then we can actually remove it as far down as we need it to. Now, as you can see here, we removed it all the way back to the existing window just so we can put the siding back on without causing any kind of like, without having to cut the siding to make it look like it's been, uh, like that window has been installed. The siding will go back on exactly as it was before. Now, what we did is we opened up the wall, the sheeting from the outside, so we can gain access to it. So we also needed to put down some studs down to the plate down on the bottom of the foundation so that sits on top of the existing um, foundation itself. We slid the studs down inside there, we centered them where we needed them to be and then we took this, the 2x4s and we put it across the top and nailed those together. So the two studs in the center were already uh, there and then we added the other two to hold up the bottom part of those double 2x4s to give it the extra strength. Next thing we had to do is we have to get in there and we have to create a header above the top of the window itself because you can't just install the window and then those two studs that we cut out on the roof, there's no, the load of the roof sitting on top of that doesn't have the studs to support it so we need to, to create a header. So we actually got a, a, a 2 by 12 we cut it down to the length of the opening itself. We're going to take that 2 by 12 we're going to push it up to the top 
uh, as far up as we possibly can so it'll actually frame out the top and bottom of the existing of the window that we're going to be installing in there and then we're going to install studs on the side of it to to support the header that's going up now on the right side there you can see where that one stud comes up and meets that double two by four once we install the header above that we are going to continue that two by four up to hold the header on the right side and then we're going to put a stud on the left side to hold the header up on the left side and then we'll box it out so that we have it actually 24 by 24 so that we can put the window into that opening as if it was as if it was made for it and of course after we do that then we'll just put the sheeting back on on the outside we'll nail the window around on the nailing flange which you saw before and once it's nailed in we'll level it off on the inside with a uh, with our level to make sure that it's perfectly level and you know you can see the window has gone in already and once we have the window in we're going to shim it all the way around so that it's perfectly uh, level and it's not uh, not uh, not leaning whatsoever now as I told you we are not going to finish off the inside of it with the extension jams because we are going to do drywall on here and once the drywall is on then we'll come back and we'll finish it off on the inside as well next we started to reinstall the siding we went from the bottom and worked our way up we cut around the window so that way the siding was instead of being individual pieces it's one long run so it looks like from the left window to the right window like it's been there forever so the easiest thing to do is to take the siding off instead of trying to get in there and possibly cut the siding with some kind of a tool without doing damage uh, that's just the way I happen to do it um, now you can see we have J-channel around the window itself so that way the siding fits into it and it looks like it's always been there. It looks like it's, it's part of the original structure of the house. But that's what it looks like on the, uh, on the outside. Now as I told you on the inside, we are not going to do anything on the inside yet because we are going to do a uh, um, drywall on the inside. We're going to change the drywall and then we'll cut the extension jams once we have the um, the drywall on because it'll be a little bit the thickness of the wall will be a little bit different than what's there right now now we did need a jack to push that header up into the ceiling there because it was actually really tight I didn't want to pound on it with a hammer to try to get it in so we elected to take a jack put a jack up underneath there and then push that header right up into the ceiling as you can see it fit in there perfectly and then we put our stud on the side to box it out so it's an exact 24 by 24 and then we leveled everything off but does that that's it this job is done and we're on to the next as always thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one